The use of heroin is on the rise in Alabama. State officials and community leaders are working to reverse the deadly problem. University of Alabama at Birmingham hosted a summit regarding the issue earlier today. WVUA's Kristen Bolden has more from the Pills to Needles meeting. Heroin abuse is a deadly and growing trend. Parents, teachers, and other community leaders are forming a plan to help combat the problem. The law enforcement solution alone is not enough and we need to have the community engaged in preventing addiction, in treating addiction, all of us working together to take this problem on. United States Attorney Joyce White Vance says 58 lives were claimed in Jefferson County in 2012 and 2013 alone. Jefferson County Health Officer Mark Wilson says the problem is not just Birmingham centered. We know of, I believe, seven deaths in the past year in Tuscaloosa. The number may be as high as 15 once they get all the toxicology results in. Clay Morris with Alabama's Drug Enforcement Administration says awareness is key in helping communities be more proactive against the threat of drugs in general. We can't arrest our way out of this problem. That is just one component of, of trying to address a larger issue of addiction. Um, we have to start with demand reduction, really public awareness. The public doesn't know we have a heroin problem in, in the northern Alabama area. The public doesn't know we have students at universities who abuse heroin. A University of Alabama student is one of the heroin-related deaths in Tuscaloosa. His parents, Ronnie and Beverly Mims, spoke at the summit today to try and break the stigma of who is using heroin. Addicts, those who die from heroin overdose or any type of drug overdose, those faces of the people are changing. In Birmingham, Kristen Bolden, WVUA News. In 2014 alone so far, the Jefferson County Coroner's Office says 36 people have died in heroin-related incidents.